I want to talk about something for a second. I am sincerely very proud of my staff here at Late Night. I have an amazing staff. Everyone who works here is great at what they do. But in addition to being good at their jobs, no one ever mentions this, but I'm going to say it now. Many of my staff members also have unique talents that are totally unrelated to the show. Talents that unfortunately often go unnoticed because they work behind the scenes. America never gets to see what these people can do. So tonight, I thought, let's change that. Tonight, I'm going to let some of our gifted staff members show off their very special talents with our very own Late Night Staff Talent Show. <laughs> All right, now, first up is one of our crew guys. His name, his name is Gary Grinnell. Gary, what are you going to do for us? Tell us what you're going to do. Well, Conan, I'm going to balance a cinder block on my nose. Balance a cinder block on your nose. This is incredible. I would love to see that. Go ahead. There's a better way to do that. <laughs> Next up's a guy on our staff that the, uh, the studio audience is already familiar with. His name is Brian McCann, and uh, he comes out before the show to warm up the crowd. Put him in a good mood. Let's get him out of here. There he is. Now, now tell us, what are you, uh, you going to do for us, Brian? All right, Conan, I sing backup vocals to classic rock songs that don't have backup vocals. <laughs> Let me get this straight. What you've done is you've removed the backup vocals and then you sing them yourself? No, they, uh, they never had them, and I add them because I think it makes a song sound better. <laughs> wow, cool. Okay, what song are you going to do for us tonight? Uh, it is going to be ZZ Top, Legs. Hit it. <laughs> That's great. I'm impotent. That's good. Very nice. That made the song a lot better. Now, next up is Justin Barrett, one of our show's PAs. Justin claims, this is strange, Justin claims he can make $10,000 instantly. Is that right, Justin? You bet. Absolutely. Instantly. Okay. $10,000 instantly. Uh, let's, let's see you do it. Okay. Here's the deal. About two years after he gets out of college, a certain late night talk show host decides that it's time to lose his virginity. So he goes to a hooker, right? Only it doesn't work out the way he's planned and the hooker just starts laughing at him. She just starts laughing her ass off. And the reason she's laughing- Okay, is okay, that's fine. It's $10,000? Right, yeah. thank you. All right, that's great. All right. Let's get out of here. All right, our next staff member is Duncan Lewis from the audio department. Duncan's claim is pretty incredible. He says he can fly like a bird. Is that right, Duncan? Yes, sir, that's exactly right. Okay, uh, <laughs> Duncan, let's, let's see you fly like a bird. Let's see you do it. Okay. Oh, and by the way, the bird I had in mind is an ostrich, and ostriches can't fly. <laughs> <laughs> Now, folks, everybody in our research department has told me, Conan, you have to see this guy to believe what he can do. Let's just bring him out here and let him explain his talent for you. Please welcome Scott Kelly. Okay. It's, uh, it's good to see you, Scott. What's your talent? Well, Conan, I can play any compact disc with my tongue. 
I, really? Seriously? I, I want to see that. Have you got a CD there with you? Yes, I do. I have my favorite CD with me, The Best of Blondie. Okay. <laughs> All right, Scott, go for it. That is so cool. That was great. That's amazing. Hey, uh, I want to see if you can do this. Can you uh, can you play my favorite CD? Yeah, sure. Oh, cool. All right, our next talented staff member is... I've got a talent! Oh, hey, hey everybody, that's, uh, that's Joel. He's our announcer. Uh, you have a special talent, Joel? I sure do. I can go a whole day without an Asian male prostitute. <laughs> well, that's not really a talent, Joel. I mean, I could go a whole lifetime without an Asian male prostitute. Then you obviously haven't met Toshi. Look at those washboard abs and firm little buttocks. Okay, I can't see his buttocks, Joel. You're lost, amigo. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get busy. Uh, but wait a minute, Joel, you said you could go a whole day without him. I did. Yesterday, he was stuck at the DMV all day. Now, come to Papa. Oh, okay. That's, uh... Now, stop it! What the hell was that? What the hell happened back there? There's a foyer watching those two go at it. Welcome to our cable access show. All right, our, uh, our final performer tonight is our on-staff doctor, Stephen Arno. Now, Dr. Arno, you've spent years training fleas for a flea circus, but your circus has a special twist. That's right, Conan. You like hip-hop? Sure, I guess I like hip-hop, yeah. Well, then this is your flea. Ladies and gentlemen, won't you please give it up for Flea Diddy, the P. Diddy Flea Circus. We'll, uh, we'll take a break. We'll be right back with Ice-T. Stick around. That should be fun.